Hello YouTube, I am Necrostevo. Today's story is from r slash made me smile. It is a story that was posted by user Molotov Mandy. Let's see you little punks smash my letterbox now. This reminds me of the guy who used to live on my dad's street. Every time it snowed, the snowplow would take out its mailbox. Only his mailbox. And just to be clear, it was done intentionally. No one knows why, but the driver of the snowplow would target his box and mow it down. He'd call the DOT to complain and would get an earful of excuses that amounted to, it's not our fault you have a wimpy mailbox. Fast forward to the next winter. First decent snow starts falling and every kid is hoping for a snow day. It was right around 4.30 a.m. and the whole neighborhood was woken up to this loud clang and the screech of tearing metal. My dad made it to the window first and started laughing his butt off. Sitting outside was one very totaled and almost ripped in half snowplow. And these weren't little pickup trucks with a blade on the front. We have this in New York. Well, turns out, over the summer, my dad's neighbor got himself a backhoe and sank a steel I-beam into the ground of his front yard. Then he covered it with a decorative wood sleeve and topped it with a brand new mailbox. When the snowplow dryer tried to mow it down, it was a bad case of immovable object meets unstoppable force. And the mailbox won. With the plow firmly impaled on the I-beam, it was very clear that the driver had gone out of his way to hit it. Naturally, the DOT wasn't happy. The neighbor's reply was simple. It's not my fault you have a wimpy snowplow. They did try to sue him for the damages, but as he had gone to the town, gotten approval for the post and its installation, and made sure everything was up to code, it was thrown out pretty quickly. And for anyone wondering about the driver, he was fine. His job and his tiny whities, not so much.